Welcome to this video tutorial on the subject of the image catalogs and their function in the case of an implant restoration. In this video, you will get to know the various image catalogs in the acquisition phase and will demonstrate the further process through to the model phase. First of all, we created a patient case and will now select the indication implant in the administration phase. Then we define the restoration type the design mode, the material, and the milling and grinding unit, as well as the scan body type. In our case, we have an occlusally screw-retained restoration on an implant at position 2-6. We click on the position in the odontogram and can then switch to the next phase, the acquisition phase. In this phase, we will first of all take a look at the selection of image catalogs applying to our case, and then describe the remaining image catalogs, which can be added by clicking on the respective option. As we've selected the biogeneric individual design mode in the administration phase, four image catalogs appear at the lower edge of the screen. The upper jaw image catalog, which is framed in yellow and therefore active, is, along with the scan body upper image catalog, marked with an exclamation point. This means that both image catalogs are an obligatory acquisition. In addition to this, you'll find the lower jaw and buckle bite image catalogs. Through the side palette, we have opened the Add Catalog option, and we'll now look at this in more detail from top to bottom. The two image catalogs, Gingiva Mask Lower and Upper, can be added optionally if the scan process for the quadrants with the implant to be restored took too long and the gingiva collapsed once the gingiva former was removed. As a result, it would then not be possible to optimally adjust the emergence profile of the restoration to the real situation. In such a case, reapply the gingiva former in the implant, remove it once again after 10 to 15 minutes, and scan only the area of the implant position and the neighboring teeth. This image catalog can be displayed and hidden during modification of the design in the design phase. In this way, the emergence profile of the restoration can be optimally adjusted. The BioCopy lower and upper image catalogs are automatically added if you have selected the Biogeneric Copy design mode in the administration phase. These image catalogs are used to acquire the morphology of the tooth to be replaced prior to extraction. The scan body lower and upper image catalogs are automatically selected for an implant case. When performing a scan for these, you have to make sure that the scan post itself, as well as the transition between gingiva and scan post, were captured properly and without interruption. Otherwise, this may result in inaccuracies regarding the position of the implant. It is often not possible to capture 100% of the base or post, but it should be possible to scan two-thirds of the surface area. Finally, we would like to remind you that the scanning sequence may also vary in certain cases. Patients are often more relaxed at the start of the treatment, and finding the occlusion is therefore easier at this stage. Because of this, it may also make sense for the buccal scan to be carried out first. In this case, start by acquiring the buccal scan, continue with the scan of the upper and lower jaw, and then, lastly, complete the scan with the scan body screwed in. You'll then see the image catalogs, including the acquisitions already performed. Each image catalog now includes a scan, and we can switch to the next phase the model phase. In this phase, we have expanded the step menu into full view. The green bars in the individual steps inform you that the CEREC software has automatically prepared all steps based on the scanned data. The purple dot on the scan body indicates that the software has determined the position of the implant. You can check all steps and, if necessary, make corrections. Since everything has been defined correctly in our case, we will switch directly to the design phase. Based on the design mode Biogeneric Individual and the parameter settings, the CEREC Software 4.6 has now calculated an initial design proposal. 
This proposal can be modified as usual using the various tools and functions in the side palette before switching to the last phase, the manufacture phase. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.